hi everyone this video is uh, one more uh, maintenance video for uh, Sperry main air compressor so we are going to carry out uh, oil renewal from uh, crankies and uh, we do the inspection also uh, before carrying out any maintenance job in compressor do the safety checks like you have to put the compressor in manual mode turn off the power do not operate blackout should be in place and close both the uh, inlet valve and outlet valve for uh, cooling water and uh, outlet air for uh, outlet valve for uh, air valve and uh, after all this safety measure you make sure you are uh, filling up your uh, risk assessment and uh, cold work permit if any and any company related forms to carry out this work so uh, for carrying out uh, this kind of job you have to make sure that uh, you have enough uh, oil to renew it most of the time enough uh, compressor oil will be available on board but still for safer side you check and make sure it is there now we are going to open the cover for uh, main air compressor that is what our fourth engineer is doing this compressor is uh, completely shielded one so you have to open the cover to inspect the compressor so main thing is uh, while opening this cover you have to mind your fingers because uh, sometimes when you are pulling it out uh, all the sharp edges can give a cut in your finger so keep an eye on it that is uh, one safety thing that we need to keep it in mind now we have removed all the cover and now the next thing is we need to drain the oil uh, in this case uh, actually you need to open only the allen bolt but here we couldn't be able to open it so what we do is uh, we open the entire pipe of the drain line you can see the oil is completely emulsified because of some leakages in the cooler or something we are just going to check it you can see the emulsified oil color which is uh, very milky which is not okay and uh, in this type of compressor uh, what we need to do is uh, for opening uh, the crank is we need to remove the cooler so that you will get uh, proper access to the uh, crank is door so that is what we are doing we remove the cooler and you just take out the clamp which is connecting to the cooler base and once the clamp is loosened now you can start uh, opening the door for crank is so in the meanwhile we already uh, drained all the oil so next thing is we are opening the door so now you can see after removing the cooler we got enough access to remove the crankage door so in this case uh, we need to first check from where the water is coming so we cannot able to open the cooler or cooling water because the cooler is already out and check the gasket condition of the, the sump cover and you can see the sump inside so we don't find any leakages and actually no water supply is there so there is no point in checking that and uh, you clean the sump properly and make sure you are uh, using lintel free rags for cleaning the sump this is the oil filter so make sure the oil filter was been uh, blown with air that is what we are doing so oil filter is also clean no issues so you can see the sump is uh, perfectly cleaned and uh, now we start filling the oil so before filling it just uh, use some 10 half liter oil just to flush it so that if there is any traces of uh, oil uh, old oil like uh, some oil emulsified is there it will drop down just uh, rotate the flywheel so that you can see this is how uh, 
If you auto flush it, just put some half liter or one liter. It's okay. You just need to make sure it is flushed properly. No any old oil is there. And uh, yeah, now you can see it is entirely flushed. So the next thing what we need to check is you just check the movement of the crankshaft. The crankshaft means in the sense the rod. You just use a rod. You just you can use a screwdriver. Just push it here and there. Just check the movement. You can see the movement is there. That means it is uh, okay. No problem. Piston rod is fine. So after filling the this oil. All we need to do is clean it properly, fix it back, put back the cover in place and put back the cooler in place, tighten it properly and uh, the more main thing that we need to keep it in mind is do not overfill the compressor. If you overfill the compressor then again it will cause carryover. So before filling the oil, we are just putting back the plug. This is a plug we need to open actually to drain it. But since it is very tight and we didn't, we open the entire uh, pipe connections. So now we are putting back the plug in place. After putting back the plug in place, tighten it properly and then start filling the, uh, filling the compressor sum. You can frequently monitor the level and we are filling the oil this oil is a synthetic oil do not fill uh, not uh, more it is quite well uh, if it is less than the half after filling it tighten it uh, i think that's all i think this video must have given you some information about how to change the oil for the main engine sorry main compressor so, thank you all Keep supporting.